welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my monthly budget for the month of July, you guys. It's coming out just a few days late, but we're getting it done. Um, I do just want to apologize if you guys happen to hear baby girl crying. Daddy's putting her to sleep and she does not want to go to sleep right now. So I apologize in advance, but no one's like not paying attention to her or anything like that. So she's not just crying for fun. Um, so this is going to be my monthly spread. So I do use my monthly spread for both my personal and my household budget. If you are new to my channel, I do apologize. I've lost my voice and I'm slowly getting it back. Um, but I do a personal budget and a household budget. So this budget is going to be for my personal budget. So this is just everything. I don't fill in the amounts um, until I actually pay for them. So I know exactly what I pay. There are some bills like my Netflix bill, which I know is supposed to be the same every month. So, um, but I still just leave them blank. So now over to my dashboard. We are going to start off with my monthly goals. So I have three monthly goals this month. My first one is to pay off my Ashley's two credit card um, so that I can actually be done with it. Um, so that is my first goal. My second goal is to eat clean for at least 14 days. Um, so what that just really kind of means for me is just really cutting out any processed foods and um, yeah, pretty much like processed foods. Not that I've been having a whole lot of it, but I really just need to be eating like meat and salad, meat and salad. So that's what's going to be eating clean for me. So at least 14 days, which gives me almost about half of the month just to get myself back into that routine. And then the last one is to just see if I can save an extra $50 to put towards my savings challenge. Sorry, y'all. Off to the side here, I'm going to be tracking it. So I'm going to be tracking the days that I exercise and then also the days that I eat clean. So then we can calculate that at the end of the month. Things that I would like to check off is um, I just put vacation, but we're going to be going out of town, which is where we go every year. But we're taking baby girl. I need to go and buy the tickets. I already reserved the hotel. I want to say maybe back in April already. So I need to go and buy the tickets because they've been going up, so we don't need to spend any more than that. So I need to do that. Um, this month, I wanted to clutter at least one room or area um, because I am starting to declutter and to get our lives in order. Um, I also have a doctor's appointment on the 8th, and then I also need to get my nails and my toes done. Um, Y'all, like, these are my real nails, and I don't know what happened, but it chipped off the nail polish. And, like, now it's, like, coming up. I don't think y'all can see that, but it's dangerous. So I'm so happy um, I made an appointment so I could get that taken care of. I have my um, note to self, which is just my investments. This is what we're starting off the... Sorry, y'all. Um, we're starting off the month at... $827.98. And this is just an inside joke if you're new to my channel. Um, I have a five-month baby girl. And before I knew I was pregnant, I would always yawn during my videos. So I get super like <laughs> crazy like PTSD every time I yawn doing a video because I'm like, oh Lord, I cannot be pregnant again. Um, and then these are my sinking funds. I have not filled them out, y'all, because there's like a discrepancy. I have like an extra like $28 in my savings account that is not accounted for on any other sheet of paper. So I've been trying to figure out where that money came from. So I don't want to put the numbers here until I figure it out and then I'll fill that out. So now we're just going to jump on right into the actual budgets. And so like I said, this is going to be my monthly budget for July. Okay, and since it is 4th of July, we're just going to do some um, red and blue. And then, okay, okay, okay. All right, so first things first is we're going to start off with my income. So I do get paid weekly, so this is going to be a five-week paycheck for me. So I am budgeting $36.50. And then I always try to have some rollover money. And so I'm budgeting 200 
And then um, other money, which can just be money that I got from selling clothes or my commissions from my job or anything like that. I am budgeting $100. So my total will be $39.50 that I have to work with. Okay, so now down to my expenses. These are normally like my fixed expenses and I can't really change them. So we have AT&T, which is $186.01. I have my Acorns. I do have a subscription with them, so I pay $3 a month. I really have been thinking though if I want to keep this because I could be saving $3 a month and three times 12 is $36. I could go towards investments. Sorry, y'all, once again. So I've really been thinking about whether or not I want to um, keep acorns or not. My transfer, which is my money that goes into my household account, is going to be $600. And then I have Netflix at $21.64. I have daycare. And that is at 480. And that is going to be. And then I need to add that up. So let me get my iPad. And I already have it like added up, but I need to. Oh, what is my iPad doing, y'all? Oh, 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 it's doing its own thing right now, y'all. Um, so <laughs> let me tally this up. So this is going to equal out to $1,290.65 for all of my fixed expenses. Y'all, this looks so weird. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I don't know why. I just had a blank moment. I'm like, uh, what is this? Why does it look like this? Okay, so now down to debt. We have Ashley 1. And Ashley too. And these are my two Ashley furniture credit cards. The first one is at 96. The second one is at 50. And I've been diligently paying down Ashley's too. And it also does not have any um, interest on there. So that feels good as well too. Then we have my auto loan, which is at 626. And then we have my debt snowball, and I'm projecting to pay $419, and that should actually cover the entire amount that I owe for Ashley's Furniture. So we'll see if that actually happens, and that comes out to $1,191 for my debt. And then I'm going to actually be planning to take a pause on debt and save, 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 save. Now I've been going back to doing my ooh, cashless cash envelopes. So my categories are going to be groceries, gas, personal, and spending. Oops, spending. And I am going to be budgeting. Don't ask me how I got these numbers. 300 for groceries, 200 for gas, 100 for personal, and 34 spending, which puts me at $630. Like I said, don't ask me, don't ask me, y'all. Now down to savings. So I have my monthly savings, and that is going to be 217 I have my savings challenges. And I'm hoping to put $167, and that's going to bring me to a total of $384. I have three investment accounts right now. That's going to be with Robinhood and Acorns, and then I have an IRA, and I am budgeting $20 a piece for my investments. And then I have four sinking funds, which is auto... Christmas, uh, PTO, and my husband's. 
Um, and there's so much different things that I want to be able to do for my husband, like for his birthday and things that he wants. And I just never have the money because the stuff that he wants are like super expensive. So now why not have a sinking fund where I can save the money and then when I do have it, I can get it for him. Um, so this is just what I am potentially budgeting to put into these. And that gives me a total of... 42 and so with all of my expenses debt my cashless cash envelopes my savings investments and sinking funds my total amount comes out to 300 i mean three thousand five hundred and ninety seven dollars and sixty five cents and that leaves me with the remaining balance of $352.35. Now, I know there are people who do a zero-based budget. I'm not going to say that I don't do one, but I always want to know what my remaining balance is because whatever that balance is, is always considered my rollover money for the next month. Um, and so I don't have a like a buffer in my account, um, which I should probably build up a small buffer and then I could go to like doing a full-on zero-based budget for the month. Um, but that is the way that I do my budget. So the way that I'm going to be doing my budget this month, y'all, is that I do, I'm do. i going to be doing a monthly budget, but also a weekly budget. So this is just what I need to pay for the month of July. And then each week that I get paid, I will pay what needs to be paid and allocate money to where it needs to go to. And at the end of the month, whatever is remaining, that would kind of be like my zero out because then the rest of the money will just be my starting balance for the new month. If that makes sense, y'all. If that makes sense to y'all. Um, but that is going to be my monthly budget for the month of July. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like this video, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in the next one.